So you're feeling a little embarrassed right now because you wrote a script and you assigned it to run when the FileMaker database first opens, but it's stuck in an endless loop or it's crashing the, crashing the database and you can't open the database anymore. Well, first of all, don't be too embarrassed. We all make mistakes and uh, there's a couple of simple ways that you can get back into that database so that you can disable the script or uh, remove the offending commands. First of all, let me just show you that I've got a database that runs an unopen script. It's this one here, example. And when I run it, one of the steps in the opening script simply sh shows a custom dialog box that says the unopen script ran. Okay, so you know for certain that this example database has an unopen script. All right, now, here's one way that you can keep that unopen script from running. If you have FileMaker Pro Advanced, either open an existing solution or even just create a new solution, call it whatever you want, and in that new solution window, go to your tools menu, which again is specific to FileMaker Pro Advanced. You won't have it if you don't have FileMaker Pro Advanced. If you're just using FileMaker Pro Basic, the tools menu is not there. And turn on the script debugger. Okay, now that the script debugger window is open, it'll stay open even if you close that other database. And when you go and open the problem database, the script debugger will jump in and intercept your on open script even before it's had a chance to perform its first step. At that point, you can simply hit the halt button to keep the script from performing. And then you can get into your script workspace and work with the offending commands. If you don't have FileMaker Pro Advanced, Here's another approach, a little more complicated, but follow along and you'll do just fine. So we're going to create another new solution. Call this one Untitled 2. I'm going to create a new field in that solution. I'll call it Field. And place it on a layout. I'm going to go into Manage Database. And in the Relationships graph, I'm going to add a table occurrence. Clicking the first button in the toolbar at the bottom, I'm going to add a table occurrence to a different FileMaker file, specifically to the problem one. Now, this will work if the file is local or even if it's hosted. You can use the remote button. I'll choose one of the tables in that remote file and click OK. Now the table that you choose has to have at least one layout assigned to it. Next, I'm going to create a relationship from this field here, and it doesn't matter what kind of field it is, to any one of the fields over here. And again, it doesn't matter what field it is or what kind it is. Because we're going to double click on that relationship and change the nature of that relationship to a cross product join. That means all records in this table are related to all records in this table. That's why it didn't really matter the nature of the fields that we're using for that relationship. We'll say OK, and then OK again. And now on the layout, I'm going to place a button. And this button, we'll have it say Go, is going to perform a single step. The step is going to be Go to Related Record. Now we're using FileMaker 14 here, so we have the wonderful ability to type our code by hand. If you're using an earlier version of FileMaker, you'll see the go to related record script step in the list of script steps on the left hand side. Okay, go to related record. We want to specify to get the related record from the, the um, table in the remote database, that is the problem database. In my case, it was customer. Then you need to make sure that you turn on this checkbox here, use external tables layouts. Otherwise, when you hit this button and choose layout, you won't see any layouts. But now we will because we told it that it was OK to use layouts from that other file, from the external file. Choose the layout, say OK. Uh, the other, these other options here do not matter. You don't need to turn them on. And we'll say OK again and OK again. So we've got this single step button. Now we're going to exit out of layout mode, save the changes, 
the, uh, the database, the, the problem database, is actually open. As you can see here, it's open but in a hidden state. Now, don't show it like this, or your on open script will run. Rather, click your go to related record button, and that database window will come forward, but the on open script did not run. You see how we didn't get the message. Now you can jump into your script workspace, and you can work with your script code and uh, uh, solve any problems that might be in the script code, or you can use the file options command here to disable the running of that script when the database first opens. So I hope this helps get you out of a scrape. Um, next time <laughs> you need training in FileMaker Pro, please consider Accelerate Computer Training. We're in Long Beach, California, and our classes are also available or also can be attended remotely from anywhere you are. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.